Hi, my name is Alia Griever and I was a day camp leader the summer of 2019. I'm here for your daily dose of scripture. My passage comes from the story of the raising of Lazarus that's found in the book of John chapter 11 verse 44. It says, The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Now to give some context on that story, Jesus had just came to visit his friends Mary and Martha and heard that his friend Lazarus, their brother, had died. Jesus mourns and weeps with Mary and Martha, and then he heads to the tomb. From there, he raises Lazarus from the dead, and when Lazarus comes out, Jesus sees that the grave cloths are still bound around Lazarus. And so he says to the people around them, unbind him and let him go. Now I find this scripture passage and that image of the grave cloths just falling off pretty powerful for a few reasons. First, I think that sometimes in this world we treat God's promises and the gift of eternal life as something that's only important or significant after we're dead. But in this passage, Jesus does more than just resurrect Lazarus. He doesn't want Lazarus to be defined by death or the burden or fear of death, death in the grave anymore. Jesus wants Lazarus to live a new life, a life defined by promise, a new creation. And that's what Jesus wants for us too. So when we find ourselves in tombs of of death or tombs of just worry and anxiety, when we look around and see injustice and a lack of peace, I think we can be comforted in knowing that Jesus doesn't just sit in some cloud far away and say, oh, that's too bad, I wish I could help. But Jesus comes to the tombs that we find ourselves in. He came to the tomb of Lazarus and he comes into those tombs of worry, of hurt, of pain, of sin, and he calls us out of them into something new, into a life defined by his promises. So we can be comforted knowing that sin and hurt and pain do exist in this world, but they do not have the final say. That Jesus calls us to a life for something better, to be unbound by those chains and, and burdens. In fact, that word unbound is the same word that Jesus uses when he talks about the forgiveness of sins in Matthew 16, 19, when he says to unbind the sins or loose the sins. So when we rest in the forgiveness of sins, that means that sin, although it still exists, doesn't have the final say on our life, that we're not under that control anymore but we can submit ourselves to Christ, who truly has our, the, our whole lives planned out, the, the whole control of the world in his hand, who promises for us something better, um, freedom of life just defined in his promises. So I hope that's something that you can bring with you this next week. Uh, have a great day.